Okay, there. This is a big biscuit, Willie. Five pepper boiled peanuts. It's just a real simple boiled peanut recipe that I do. Of course, you don't have to use all these peppers, um, but uh, I do recommend that you use at least to have having your own. I'll come back to that in a second. So first of all, what you need here, whatever peppers you want to use, I do recommend just some of your basic old crushed red pepper. Some basic salt. Nice little pot right there. Definitely want the lid. And of course your preferably green peanuts. Um, if you can get the good green ones. These are the jumbos which are more available later in the season. You'll know the difference with regular old school green peanuts. They're just not as thick as these. And usually with the green peanuts you're getting three to four, sometimes even five peanuts. We're usually these big Georgia jumbos. You know, it's just usually two peanuts in there, but they still real good. Okay. Now, some people, when you go to the grocery store, they'll go through and they'll pick out peanuts like this all the time. You know, and they'll sit there forever picking out their peanuts. You know what? I don't care. I just scoop it in, and yeah, you're going to get guys like that every once in a while. But you know what? There's still one good peanut in there, and it's easy just to throw it away as you're eating them. So I don't even worry about that. So I'll get my peanuts going. I'll go ahead and put hot water in it to get started to save some time for the initial boil because what I'm going to show you here is a little fast cook method okay um, you know if they look real kind of dirty you might wash them but honestly you know even if they you don't have to be like perfectly clean with them because you're going to strain them out anyway and for God's sake you're boiling them so you ain't going to be anything left to mess with you so one of the first things is getting the amount of water right you know, you see too, I didn't, I left about two inches of space in the pan. And I'm waiting with enough water to where it's about an inch away where they're kind of floating. Okay? So leave two inches in the pan and then fill it up with about an inch of water. You don't want to fill it up with too much water because then it might overboil on you. Okay? Now, pause this for a second. 